Hello tubers, it's your crazy British bloke here. Well, today I'm down at Dave's farm as usual and it's the first time I've come up to see the new uh, Rickham's Redneck Ranch up here and I'm telling you what, it's looking great. And uh, he's got me a couple of parking spots for my two trucks, so I'll show you that in a minute. And also, he's actually doing a little bit of redneck uh, repair down here. So we're going to go and have a look and see what he's going on there. But I'll show you around. So here we go, look, there's the old trailer. Rick's now got it up here, and I'll tell you what, he has a gorgeous view. Gorgeous, gorgeous view out of his windows. You can look down right over the lake. Look at that. Right? That's pretty stunning, eh? You can even see Sky Hill through there, yeah? What a beautiful, beautiful spot. And like I said, down over here, look, there's two, two lovely parking spots, look. Right for blokes, two trucks. Excellent, eh? Excellent. And there's old Graham down there, look. He's filming me and I'm filming him. But Mr. Rickham's down there. Mr. Rickham, hey, did you tell him that you broke that truck? <laughs> Anyhow, Rick's doing a little bit of repair down here, so we're going to go and have a quick look. And actually, I've got Jay around here as well, look. Hey, you all know him, mate. Eh? know that I'm doing this. He's filming me as well, so you have to look at his channel and see what he's doing. We're going to have a little walk over here and see what's going on. Right, so Mr. Rickham, what's going on down here then, buddy? I hate shadows. What's happened to it? Oh, I'm trying to get the clutch fan off. So, why, what's, what's going on? What happened? Well, so, tell me what happened. Okay, this is rule number one. When you're out at the farm mudding, here, let me see your camera and I'll show them. Okay, there you go. When you're mudding, make sure your radiator is clean. If not, it doesn't heat. And if you have a shitty thermostat that is seized shut, it will, where'd that piece go? It will blow out the gasket. So now, because it's a Chevy, to get the alternator bracket off, you have to actually take the clutch, clutch fan off. On a Ford, it's different. On a Ford, this pulley is attached to it. And you can just take the pulley and the clutch fan and pulley come off. But it's a Chevy. But because Rick's incompetent, you can't handle work on a Chevy. But you're definitely gonna fix it, eh? Oh yeah. Lovely, okay. No worries. So what do you reckon then, mate? It's actually your vehicle, eh? Nah. Uh, so what sure. did you do to it? I didn't do anything to it. <laughs> oh, that's always a story, isn't it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I never broke it. So Rick's going to fix it for you, eh? Yeah. That's... Cool, so we can play hide and seek tonight. Yeah. Rather you... nice of him, I appreciate it, actually. Great. Oh. Well, there you go, tubes. Another bit of rednecking. This is actually the first rednecking repair down at the old Redneck Ranch. Yep, yep. And the ranch is looking cool. sweet. She's looking really sweet. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, eh? Classic third. Yeah, look, we can party here. We're yep. gonna cook, we're gonna cook on that on that fire tonight. And I have a lovely lady who's just dying to move in. Yeah. But she's allergic to cats, so Oh, so we can't uh, do that. Yeah, I can't have her. We have to have a cat. James lady. is just too too important to me. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there, there you go, tubes. We'll, uh, we'll be speaking to you soon and we'll show you a little bit more about what's going on. <laughs> Speak to you later.